All right, I've got an EJ block in the one in the CNC here, and I, I just want to show people what I've found to be the best method to do these. Now, I'm doing this because I want, if other shops are considering it and uh, don't, you know, want to get their feet wet without knowing what they're doing, I'm just going to show you how I do it. I think you'll learn a lot, and then you can start doing these yourself, provided you've got the vertical height in, your, in the Z-axis on your CNC machine. This is how I clamp the block in the machine. I've just got a clamp on each corner, you can see. And I also have brass shims under each of the four training bolts. And I don't know if you can see it, but I've got set screws down in these holes. With obviously with the Allen head point this direction. What that allows me to do is infinitely adjust the level of the block and the machine. So what I do is put the block in there. I only clamp these these straps to five foot uh, five foot pounds. It doesn't take any pressure at all to hold the block. And after I roughly center the uh, number one main. Uh, I come down with, I, this is my indicator, I'll show you the indicator. It's just a tense indicator that I, you know, kind of adapted onto my long uh, number four Kaiser Stub Barber here. Um, but it's, uh, <laughs> forgive the funny marks on there, but when you're upside down in that number five main, it's hard to re figure out which is positive, which is negative. So I've got, uh, I've got it marked in red there, in red and black. Um, but for instance, I'm going to center it in X, as you can see, we're, we're on zero here, and we are, you know, within a tenth there. Now, I've already, I've already done this block, but the procedure is, once you initially set the top, then you can run that indicator all the way down to number five, And you can do that, you can center the bottom, same way, you have to use a mirror on, on the back side, but you can see I'm rotating the gauge on number five main. But you, with the table, you center the bottom. Now you run to the top. Now you center the top by tipping the block either in X or Y, whatever you need. Now you can, for instance, this block, I had to move it um, a total of about a thou in, in X. So all I did was loosen the two um, clamps on this side and with the indicator, watching the indicator, I can just move those screws. I have to move each screw half the amount that I need to move it. So I had to move it a thou. So in reality, that's half a thou. So I only moved the screws two and a half tenths each. Now that brought me to center. And I only had to adjust it once, and I'm dead nuts. It, usually, you got to go up, down, up, down. Uh, but that—that's how easy you can you can do these blocks, provided you've got the vertical height in, in the Z, like I said. Uh, but that's how I center them up. Now, you'll see I have deck plates on here. I I like to do these with deck plates on. Um, now, as far as the tooling, this is the this is my um, again. It's Kaiser stuff. Uh, it's, it's a number six arbor, and I have a number five with, an, with a reducer, a number five boring head. The reason I've got this big arbor is just for vibration. That's uh, the, the diameter of this, this shaft is, is uh, just under. It's about thirty thou small of the of the bore. Uh, just barely fits in there, but but it uh, is good for keeping vibration down. Now I use a real high positive uh, uh, AK insert here is a real nice finish. Now this is my tool setter. I've got it set in here and as you can see I've got the I've got it set to cut about 517 and a half. That'll leave me a two and a half thou to, uh, for a finish cut. Uh, but now the block's uh, centered up I'll uh, put my put my boring tool in there and uh, we can take one cut measure it and dial in another two and a half thou for finish and it cuts the same diameter top to bottom and does a really nice job. So I get a lot of requests for this job and I'm not, I'm not doing them uh, only for one, one outfit and uh, I'd like to have some other shop do it so I can refer them to you uh, to have this job done. And you can do this to standard size like I do 
or Course King makes a plus five, and you can also bore him to plus five. So it's a it's a good it's a good refix. So hopefully you've learned something from this.